It doesn't matter where I am in the world, the ocean always has something to give. I have so much love and respect for it. My mum always said, if I'm in a bad mood, just throw me in and I'll come out a better person. It's totally true. I love what it gives me, not only from a food advantage point, but also fitness and health, like it cleanses me in a way. It's not so much about what it is that I am going to hunt or catch or dive for. It's actually about what I do with that once I've caught it. I hunger and thirst for inspiration and the ability to be mobile. And inspiration for me comes through challenging myself, which means getting outside of my comfort zone. It's not the end goal isn't the dinner table, although that's like the celebration. I really think that there's moments in that every little step that you take to get there. I would say that like being in an RV gives you a different window every day. So you wake up somewhere new and you've got like the possibility of being able to explore a new area. We're adventuring with people that are from California, like where we are, San Diego, and it makes the story behind it so cool. And I feel like it makes things taste so much better as well because been on this creative process with the people that have helped you catch it. That's why I kind of pivoted in my career from being an indoor chef in a restaurant because your creativity is a little stumped because you're not gathering from your environment you're fishing in or the people you're around. I'm learning a lot to like kind of just let down a facade of like, no, I know how to catch it and I know how to do that. We never had a barbecue growing up. We didn't even really have fire. So it's very bizarre that I have found this. I mean, I'm a dramatic person, so I think fire creates drama. So the more drama, the happier I am. The journey that I am on is of self-discovery and discovering other people and what they do and what they love and why they love it. It actually happened from a pretty dark time in my life. So I was in New York running a restaurant. I actually was a pastry chef. I had a biscuit company and um, it sort of went belly up and I was in my early 30s. I remember my mum saying to me, she's like, you know what, you just need to come home and you just need to reset. And I just felt like such a failure. I was like, that's it. Like, you know, I really, I've blown it. I'm in my 30s and like, I'm doomed. I don't even know how I'm gonna like get myself out of this trench. And I went back to Tasmania. Um, I was waitressing and the restaurant happened to cook over open fire. And I was like, gee, this is a cool method of cookery. I never really thought about this. Um, and then I started seeing the head chef use local produce from the area. Um, and he would just do it very simply and just like honor the produce, keep it simple, but use the cooking techniques that we learn in culinary school. And so I think there was just this shift of like, oh, I've just really overcomplicated life. And I just started doing what I did as a kid, which was going on a road trip and just seeing what unfolded. So it would lay light a fire, go for a surf, hang out with your pals. So that's what I started doing. And a photographer started following me around and I just, I just fell in love with that lifestyle and it, it just naturally happened. Food's culture. As a chef, it's, it's a cultural experience. Depending on the soil or the land, the ocean, the terrain, it affects the ecosystem and the environment of what can grow there. And, and the people that are there and like what their forefathers have passed down to them. I feel like from my experience, every little space you stop at, there's, there's a different cultural experience to have. The people that are coming to dinner tonight bought the produce 
that were going to be cooking. So whether they were fishing with me, some of them went hunting for it, they're all bringing something to the table. And I guess my thank you to them is what I bring to the table, which is being able to cook it, present it, um, and have community around the, around it. Get the fire One thing that I would want people to really learn is to not be afraid. Sounds cheesy, but I guess believe in your ability to, to give it a go. I, I think fear stops a lot of people from adventuring. It stops people from having a conversation with people. It stops people from getting in the water. It stops people from getting their hands dirty in the soil. Fear is such a liar, and I think that if people can overcome that, they're gonna discover a world they never knew possible.